Welcome back. In this video, we're looking at what talent is and what it takes to excel within sport. To start, we need to consider what talent is and how it looks. This is someone who has a natural ability to be good at something, especially without being taught. It's from Cambridge Dictionary 2020 about what talent is. Most people will define someone who is good at sport as talented, but is this enough for someone to excel? Looking into what Werner et al. 2008 said, for someone who is considered talented to excel, they need both talent and training so that they can succeed, otherwise talent will go to waste. So, this raises the question of, can someone who is innately talented make it a professional level with just innate talent? I believe not, based on Werner et al. 2008. You need both acquired skills and innate abilities to advance at the professional level. So, what is talent? When looking into what talent is, you need to consider innate talent, which is when athletes are naturally gifted as a chosen skill within a specific sport. This could be being able to pass or dribble without being taught. The idea that it comes naturally to someone is what talent is. An example of this could be Mario Balotelli, who everyone believed was a naturally gifted athlete when playing but lacked work, which led to his talent going to waste from Simpson 2007. About talent going to waste without the proper hard work being put in. But on the other hand, you have a player like Jamie Vardy who has acquired skills through working hard so that he could reach elite level. And when he did reach level, elite level, he didn't, he didn't carry on working hard so that he could excel. This is from Murphy 2015. But this doesn't mean that if you're innately talented, you will excel to the professional level easily. Vernon 2008, who stated that athletes who are innately talented still need to train in order to excel, otherwise they could get surpassed by their counterparts. These two players are key examples of innate talent and acquired skill. Mario Balotelli was naturally gifted but didn't put in the work which led to his abilities going to waste by underperforming and not reaching his potential. But if you look at Jamie Vardy who wasn't innately talented to the point where he was dropped at age of 16 by Sheffield United and then considered quitting football. Having that trauma helped him to train hard so that he could then continue playing so that he could then be able to win the Premier League with Leicester City. This is from a trauma in acquiring skills to make himself a better player, which led to his success. This shows that difference between natural abilities and hard work. From Spencer and Joseph 2016, about how trauma can aid growth. Now, let's look at PCDs, Psychological Characteristics of Development Excellence. This is closely associated with talent development because they look at factors such as commitment, focus and distraction control, realistic performance evaluation, self-awareness, coping with pressure, planning and self-organization, goal setting, quality practice, effective imagery, effective seeking of social support from McCartney Colin 2012. These factors show that even athletes that are innately talented, they need to commit, cope with pressure, set goals, etc. in order to succeed, otherwise they can get overwhelmed, which can contribute to them dropping out. These attributes are needed for both athletes with innate talent and acquired talent so that they can work hard in order to excel. So after looking into PCDs, I suggest coaches take these factors into consideration in order to keep their participants developing, otherwise their talent can go to waste. I suggest they make their athletes somewhat independent depending on their age. They can do this by having their athletes come to them each week to discuss what they believe they need to work on so that they can get better. Doing this will promote self-awareness so that players are able to access themselves with minimum intervention from coaches while being able to set goals for themselves. This is from Paul 2006. This will also help athletes understand that there is help if needed. This means they will actively seek social support, which can promote commitment if they have someone to talk to. They can discuss how to deal with pressure and give coping mechanisms so that they can enhance their abilities such as self-talk so they feel more comfortable when playing and training. This is from Matt Naro and Collins 2012. I also suggest that coaches introduce some trauma within their coaching practice so that their participants can experience difficulties of becoming a professional player and how hard it is. An example of this could be dropping a player from the first team so that they understand players get dropped which can then make them commit to training hard while motivating them to work harder to regain their position within the first team. Doing this for one game to see how players cope and respond to being dropped will help coaches understand how psychologically developed their participants are at. Because as coaches, our job is not only about performance, but also about developing participants long term. Doing this will help young athletes understand how it is on a professional level. This is from Adabazum and Chenlo 
2019 about how trauma can aid learners' development. After looking into how athletes made it to professional level, they all spoke about their hard work and things they had to overcome, which then motivated them so that they would commit and continue working hard. Becoming a professional isn't an overnight task, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Looking back into trauma, that player stated it overcame, which made them stronger. Skydell 2013.